All right, so I've had several episodes on my channel where I show how spalling can occur on steel body armor plates like the Spartan Armor Level 3 Plus plate. Now, as you can see, there's an impact here. The spalling went all the way across the plate and shot up. It could go up into your face and neck if you were wearing this. Now, they do make anti-spall coatings. Now, this does not have that on there, and I will show the effect of spalling with some uh, ballistics gel and some cardboard behind me about what happens when you hit one of these plates without any type of anti-spall litigation. Now, the homemade remedy is duct tape. Now, the person claims if you put enough duct tape layered across the front of this plate, it will act like a anti-spall coating. So we're gonna test this theory out. First, I'm gonna shoot at this plate without any anti-spall coating, just like this impact here. Then we'll coat this plate with several layers of duct tape and we'll see if it acts as an anti-spall coating. Right, here's our setup right here. We got our steel plate, we have our ballistics gel, we have our cardboard surrounding the entire area of this plate. So when this bullet strikes, you'll see the spalling go into the ballistics gel. We'll see how far it goes, how much damage it causes. We'll also see a ring of spalling around the inside and sides of this box. So let's take a shot and see what happens. We'll be conducting this test using my AR-15 firing the M855 green tip 5.56 rounds at this steel. So let's check it out. All right, the plate stopped the round, but look at all the spalling that came off of that round. There's bullet fragments, copper, everything just blasted right through. Check out the spalling inside. Man, look at that, almost went completely through the entire block. Let's put some duct tape on this thing and try it again. All right, I used an entire roll of this premium duct tape. This is on there very, very thick. Let's take a shot and see if this can stop spalling. Let's check this out. Looks like there was some spalling down here. Let's look at the plate. You know what, that hit kind of on the edge of the plate and it looks like it stopped a lot of that spalling. You know what, let's shoot it one more time. All right, let's open this thing up and see. You know what, that seems to have trapped a lot of bullet fragments. It really actually worked quite well. I may have to do this test again with some uh, smaller calibers like nine millimeter. Tune in for the next one.